Thank you guys very much. I hope you can hear me in the back. We're good? Okay. So I uh, am pleased to be here. This is a different audience than what I usually speak to. Uh, first of all, it's not 250 freshmen learning chemistry. Uh, but more importantly, you know, I travel all over the world uh, giving talks about our science. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, I'll show you a little bit about what we do. But what I don't usually get to talk about at those sorts of meetings is the secret sauce, what actually makes it work. Um, and the other thing that I don't really get to talk about is what sustainable means to a university professor. Um, I can tell you, you know, just in a word, it means tenure. If this doesn't work, then they're going to have to renovate my space and put someone else into it in seven years' time. So the questions of how long does something hold up, what happens with quality, it all gets ripped out, gutted, and rebuilt uh, about seven years later. Um, so our definition of sustainable is it's got to give you a capability that allows you to do something that no one else in the world can do. And that's kind of the baseline, and then you build from there. Uh, what does that mean? It means that everything has to be a custom solution at some level. That's not to say every aspect of it has to be custom. Most of that's best practices. But you've got to do something really, really well in order to enable capabilities that other people don't have elsewhere. Um, and this is an issue. The other issue with it is you've got to get it right the first time. So you don't get two tries at this. In the back of any faculty member's mind, there's a tenure clock ticking. It's seven years, and then you're fired. Um, or you have a position for life. It's one or the other. There is no middle ground. So it's kind of it, it's a little challenging to think about working in that space. And when you come in, you're very good at what you do. You have some ideas of what, what projects you want to undertake and which areas are underserved. And you've got absolutely no idea how to build a laboratory um, or how to talk to people who build it. It's just something you've never done. Um, and that sort of sets the boundary conditions for how someone comes into this problem. And it's in fact exactly the service uh, that I lucked out, frankly, in getting uh, from uh, Zentel and IBS. Uh, mostly because every other contractor we talked to said, we can't do anything like this, you need these guys. Um, and that worked out nicely.